Hey everybody, what is pay by bank in the US and why is such a growing trend in electronic payments? That's actually a question I'm getting a lot and here's how I look at it. Forget plastic fantastic and say hello to pay by bank. It's a new revolution in banking. It's actually the latest buzzword in the world of electronic payments and I have to say it's for good reason too. How about this? Are you tired of those pesky swipe fees that make you know merchants grumble and your bank account will cry a little bit, right? Well, pay by bank is here to be able to, let's say, stay the fee dragon with lower cost for everybody that's involved in the transaction. And there's a lot of people involved in one single transaction. Pay by bank, also known as account to account payments or A to A payments or even direct bank transfers, and it refers to a digital payment method where a customer uses their bank account to directly pay a merchant or a business without having to use a credit or a debit card. So it's a way like say within an app to be able to make a direct payment directly from your bank account to a merchant. Now this payment option, it's, con it's facilitated through various channels. Like I said, the banking apps, your mobile banking app. That's where you as a user, you initiate the payment directly within your bank or credit unions app and you select the payee and you enter the amount you want to send. There's also online banking platforms and it's like the mobile apps. Here you as the end user, you get to initiate the payment through secure online banking channels. And that's one of the reasons to use this too, is through secure banking channels. Another option is to what we call third party payment processors. Now these are companies that integrate with banks, credit unions, and merchants to allow their customers, their users, their members to be able to connect bank accounts and pay directly at the checkout. Now the reason for the buzz around this pay by bank, what's it going to do? Why is it even there? Well, it reduces fees. Now, unlike credit card transactions where merchants pay fees, yes, merchants actually pay fees every time you use a card and they're paying that to processors, pay by bank transactions often have lower fees for both the merchants and where there are fees for the consumer, lower fees for the consumer too. Now, this also leads to cost savings for everybody involved with some other perks too, like what? Improved security. Pay by bank utilizes the bank level security protocols, offering a very safe alternative to card payments, which we all know there's a lot of fraud and data breaches that goes along with them, at least from time to time. This also gives you enhanced functionality. Pay by bank allows features like recurring payments and subscription management, further streamlining the payment process. You know something else it does? Increase transparency. Consumers can directly monitor their account activity and avoid potential hidden fees that may be associated with using other card type payment systems. Also something else, we're going to see wider adoption, or at least a potential for wider adoption because pay by bank holds promise for increased financial inclusion as it doesn't require users to have access to credit cards which means we could really start reaching a broader segment of the population. I know some of you are going, who doesn't have cards? A lot of people actually don't have cards or access to them. And we also always want to get the underbank to start using banking services too, to be able to protect them. However, though, pay by bank, it's still evolving and it does face some challenges. Number one, limited adoption. If you're watching this, you're probably going, what is it? I haven't seen it anywhere. Currently, not all merchants accept pay by bank options and consumer awareness. Well, that's why I'm here and it needs to improve. Then there's standardization. There's a need for standardization across different payment platforms and financial institutions to ensure seamless integration and a positive user experience. We always want a positive user experience because that leads to user behavior because with user behavior, we really have to be able to change some ingrained consumer habits toward using cards for payments that requires education and incentives. And I gotta tell you, there's sometimes I'm still gonna use my card, but there's sometimes I'm loving the idea of pay by bank because despite these challenges, pay by bank is gaining traction and it's expected to play a very significant role in the future of electronic payments in the United States by offering benefits for both consumers 
and for the businesses, those merchants. Now, before you go and get too excited, <laughs> it's important to remember that pay by bank is still a bit of a newbie in the payments game. But hey, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single swipe, or I'm oh, sorry, or rather a single click, or wait, wait, pay by bank. Pay by bank has the potential to revolutionize the way we pay, offering convenience, security, and cost savings for all involved. I guess this is where I get to say, class dismissed. <laughs>